Hey beautiful people, do you want to see how easy it is to make pizza and wings at home without even having to go out to the pizza shop? Pull up a seat, get cozy, let me show you how easy it is to make pizza and wings at home. Let's go. My YouTube family, what is popping y'all? So, tonight on the menu, we are having pizza and wings, okay? And we are going to do some thin crust. We're gonna do, I'm gonna do a cheese and pepperoni pizza, and then I'm gonna do a um, cheese pepperoni hot Italian sausage and onion, which is me and my fiance's favorite. My daughter really doesn't mess with the sausage, so we're just gonna do like a cheese and pepperoni for her. So, um, like you see, I have all my ingredients laid out. We're gonna use these um, pizza crusts. Y'all know I'm so big on already made pizza crusts because they just come out bomb. You know what I'm saying? They come out bomb. So I found these at the local market. So we're gonna use those. Um, of course we have our um, pepperonis here um, I have my I went ahead and already pre made my sausage and I also sauteed some onion so we are going to be topping our pizzas with that um, of course what is a pizza without your cheeses I have mozzarella here I have Italian blend I have some Kobe Jack in the Bizak um, so we have our cheeses and simple easy peasy um, sauce the sauce that I always do this is like my go-to quick sauce um, if you don't have any pizza sauce and I'm not about to sit there and puree tomatoes and make a homemade sauce and all that stuff I'm trying to be in and I'm trying to be out so, I'm using um, Prego regular spaghetti sauce, right? And I'm going to mix it with some sofrito. Okay. And this is my seasonings that I add to my um, sauce. I got some Italian seasoning and some roasted garlic. And of course, to my sauce, I'm adding some granulated garlic and a little dash of sugar. And I already went ahead and pre um, pre uh, made, not pre made, but I already put the ingredients in the pot so it's ready to simmer. So I'm going to get this on the stove so this could get. Um, nice and combine these ingredients and then I'm gonna take you guys over to the sink so I can prep these wings we're gonna wash them down and we are going to season them bad boys nice and good and we are gonna make some bomb pizza and wings tonight y'all stay tuned okay you guys welcome back so I do have I did go ahead and make my garlic butter because that garlic butter on your crust, no matter what kind of crust you are using, if you brush it with this garlic butter, it just takes it up like a whole nother level. It takes your little homemade little pizza up a whole nother level. So let's get to brushing this on. And you can be generous or maybe not, you know, everybody different. Let me not get y'all started. Do what you want to do. This is just the way that, this is just the way I like to do it. Okay, so, now we have our garlic butter on our pizza. Let's go ahead and apply our sauce, which is going to be so bomb. So bomb, so quick. Didn't take an hour to make. So a couple of already made ingredients together. And you all set. Okay, so I'm just gonna spread this nice and evenly. I haven't had a um a thin crust pizza in a while, so I'm excited to see how 
this is going to taste with the pepperoni and the sausage. And it's thin crust, so I'm really not trying to really overload it. Because the sauce probably can't handle a lot. So now, we're going to go in with some um, mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese, please. All right. Going in with some cheese. What y'all like on y'all pizza? Like, how y'all like y'all pizza? Y'all like the works with like pepperoni, sausage, ham. Who eat pineapples on their pizza? I don't know if I could get with that. The pineapples? I might be straight with that. I might can't do the pineapples. So what I'm gonna do next is, I always add this on my little homemade little pizzas. And that's just grated uh, Parmesan, Parmesan Romano. And we're just going to give this a little, because this also gives it great flavor. Okay. And let's go in with, there's our sausage that I showed you earlier, our sausage and onion. So this is um, hot Italian sausage that I took out of the, um, they were uh, sausages and I just took them out of the casing and fried them up. So there we go with the sausage. And here's some sauteed onion, which is gonna make it, oh, it's gonna make it good. Honey, them onions, honey. Them onions, honey. And you can add, you know, whatever you like to your pizza. You know, if you want to add some banana peppers, if you want to add some mushrooms, go right ahead. It's your pizza, do you. We got some beautiful thick cut pepperonis here. Let's just layer those on. Not too much, not too little. Go layer that on so that looks fat and of course we're gonna go in with more cheese what what is you talking about let's go back in with some cheese y'all quick simple easy dinner for your family who doesn't love pizza pizza and wings so there we go I'm also gonna add a little bit of color so I'm gonna go in with some Colby uh, can you see it? Kobe Jack. Just to give it a little, a little different flavor and also a little bit of color. Just like that. And I'm going to go back in with some more of this grated Parmesan cheese. Like that. And lastly, we are going to sprinkle on some beautiful parsley and this bad boy is ready for the oven you know what I want some more sausages on mine we're gonna put a little bit more sausage on here a little bit more sausage okay we ready for the oven for this y'all so I'm gonna put together a um, cheese and pepperoni one and we're gonna pop both of those in the oven and then I'll be back to show you guys those wings frying. Be back, y'all. Stay tuned. Okay, YouTube fam. So, I already have um, my wings nice and washed here. So, now what I'm about to do is take a paper towel. And I'm just going to sop up some of this water, this excess water here. And try to get these wings a little dry. Because they tend to uh, fry better and fry up more crispy when they're uh, dry. So let's get this nice and dry out. Just using a simple paper towel. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hope everyone is doing spectacular today. Thank you so much guys for tuning in. If you are not subscribed, what are you waiting for? 
if you are subscribed, I really appreciate it. And don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so you can know each and every time your girl upload a video. Hit the bell. So, we're going to keep the seasoning tonight on these wings real simple because we're doing hot wings. And you know hot wing sauce is flavorful in itself. So, we are going to take some Slap Your Mama. Slap Your Mama. And we're going to sprinkle a little bit of Slap Your Mama on that chicken. Boom. We are taking some black pepper. And we go hit it like that. We go hit it like that, like that. And lastly, we are using some granulated garlic. And we go hit it like that. Boom, boom, bop. Take your hand. Incorporate your seasoning. Incorporate your seasoning. Now, I'm going to mix this all up, and I'm going to let these sit in the seasonings, and I'm going to let them marinate probably for about 20, 25 minutes, and then we go fry these bad boys up nice and crispy, and we go coat them with a nice sauce. We having pizza and wings at home, y'all, tonight. Okay. Okay. So those look nice and well seasoned, just like that. You guys can see, nice and seasoned. So we're going to let these marinate for about 20, 25 minutes, like I said, and I will be back. In the meantime, I'm going to take y'all back over to this pizza so we can hop them, put them bad boys in the oven. See y'all in a minute. Okay, YouTube fam, the wings are frying beautifully. They are getting nice and crispy. I like my wings nice and crispy. So we are going to finish frying these up. And then we are going to make us some hot wing sauce. And it is almost time to put this plate together. Okay, y'all. Here is the finished chicken. And now it is ready for the sauce. And these joints is a season and flavor up to perfection. Okay, you guys. Here is my sauce. And of course, I'm using Frank's Red Hot. I have some parsley flakes, some garlic powder, real butter. This is salted butter. A few dashes of Worcestershire sauce and sugar that has a little bit of brown sugar here that is starting to melt. So we are going to incorporate this all together. We're going to let it melt down and then we are going to toss our wings in this. Melt down pretty fast. I have the um, fire on high because this part really doesn't take long at all. So you just want to stir it all together, and basically, when your butter melts, that's when it's time to get your dip bone. Get your get your dip bone. And we are bringing the pizza shop to the home tonight. Okay. This is why I love Frank. See, it's nice and thick. Frank's red hot. And let me show you guys for those that don't have Frank's for you today. Here, where I'm from, this is the number one hot sauce to use the originator for buffalo wings, baby. We in Buffalo making buffalo wings. Frank's red hot. So this is almost melted up. Okay, so now your butter is nice and melty. 
Let's grab our chicken. Our beautiful fried chicken, extra crispy. And we are just gonna begin to toss these in. Simple, tossing your chicken. With a stir. So I'm probably, I'm not going to crowd the pan because it's going to be hard to uh, sauce them all up. So I'm just going to do, split it into two bunches. And then, and I still have my fire on high. It's all right. And you just want to sauce them up. Take your spoon, sauce them Give every wing some love. Give every wing some love. So what I'm going to do is toss the other half. And you guys, I will be back with the complete finished plates. Okay, my YouTube fam, here is the finished product. And this is my sausage, pepperoni, and onion pizza. Oh, cheesy looking. This is a um, cheese and pepperoni. They came out excellent. Some cheese and pepperoni. And here is our beautiful hot wings or buffalo wings, whatever you prefer to call them. Got some nice blue cheese to dip it in. Everything came out so good. Did not even have to order from the pizza man. So there's our wings and our pizza. And it is time to eat. As always, I thank you guys so, so, so much for tuning in. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Um, like I said earlier, if you have not subscribed, please do. And don't forget to comment, like, and share. I love you guys so much. Everybody stay safe and stay blessed.